Yet another prophetic warning given to the island of St. Vincent and the Grenadines and also for Jamaica by Apostle John Inuma. Listen carefully. Quick, um, quick prayers for those in the Caribbean islands. Um, I'm really praying for you all. I pray for the peace of God and the God of peace to preserve the righteous. Amen. So we pray for St. Vincent, we pray for Barbados, we pray for all the nations in the Caribbean islands and the nations of the world. But for St. Vincent, please hear me. The Lord said, you're looking at another 40 years. I prophesied this already last week and two weeks ago. The Lord said, he gave St. Vincent an opportunity to raise a godly leader. St. Vincent is entering the next stage of another 40 years. And this stage will be a wilderness time. Hear me. Hear me. St. Vincent is going to go through another 40 years. After this next 40 years, then, like true liberation will come for St. Vincent. And it will take another 40 plus years. If, if, if Jesus tarries, if Jesus tarries that long, after that 40 plus years, then, St. Vincent will enter the fullness of his destiny. Don't be fooled. Don't let any prophets with talk you. You are looking at another 40 years of wilderness time. Within that 40 years, the Lord said, if St. Vincent can, and this is if Jesus tarries, if Jesus doesn't come, if Jesus tarries. Now, if St. Vincent can galvanize itself, submit herself before the Lord, get, get godly leaders in place, men that fear him, he said he will heal the land. So, um, Jamaica, please pray for your nation. The Lord said a plague is coming to Jamaica. A plague. This is a plague. Plague. A plague. A plague is coming to Jamaica. If Jamaica don't repent. The reason why the Lord is, it, it might feel like, oh, why is it just prophecy of, maybe you might call it prophecy of doom. No, it's not doom. I'm not a doom prophet. The Lord wants the attention of the Caribbean island countries, Barbados, and Lucia, and um, Grenada, um, Titi, Trinidad, Tobago, Jamaica, Bahamas. He wants the attention of the Caribbean countries because why? There is a revival. There is a revival coming that will sweep the Caribbean countries, Caribbean island countries, and this it will this revival will birth a, a new wave of. A different firebrand gospel that will now be exported from the Caribbean island countries around the world. This and this needs to happen quick because why the return of Christ is no longer far. Jesus can come anytime, so he needs the gospel to flood the earth. So those that he wants, the nations and the people he wants to use as instruments, how can they still be serving other gods and be given to wickedness and addicted to devilish things? He wants to shake and uproot all the covers, shake and uproot and destroy all the altar of bowels and all the altar of Jezebels and all the altar of marine powers and all the altar of blood and the occult so that his agenda is now lifted and then exported to the ends of the earth. When someone said I should speak to the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, the Lord has not sent me to speak to the Prime Minister of St. Lucia. If I start doing that, that is what we call Susan and that will be prophet lying. But remember the prophecy I've given for the Caribbean countries, it includes, which includes St. What? St. Lucia. If the, if the Prime Minister of St. Lucia, if anybody knows the Prime Minister of St. Lucia and he wants me to pray for him, I will pray for him. The Lord has not called me to specifically address him. The Lord told me to address the one of um, St. Vincent. But St. Lucia and other Prime Ministers and Presidents, whatever you have in other countries, the Lord did not tell me to speak to them personally but it's been a generic prophecy now a prophecy that covers the caribbean islands in one like an umbrella bringing god's agenda to watch the full videos of these prophecies please subscribe to apostolic tv on youtube thank you for watching